pick your story this week on Let's Go Racing Parks.com. I've been loving them. What yeah, you got? It's on the Thoroughbred Makeover, which was a competition for recently retired racehorses that have been retrained to do a number of disciplines really? dressage, barrel racing, all kinds of things. And you our love Daniel, dressage. Yeah, Danielle yeah. Montgomery, of course, runs the Turning Home program here, was down there with a couple of her daughters and some horses. And one of her daughters, Megan, a 16-year-old, finished second in barrel racing. Really? Almost won the $5,000 prize. Then they were driving back Sunday night, and I was talking to Danielle. Pat Chapman was also down there wow. with a couple of her <laughs> horses. Reyes Judicata was supposed to compete. He couldn't make it. Uh, chain of Events, a horse that uh, she had, son of Smarty Jones, she had at the beginning of his career. He did compete. and. Uh, not only was Pat there, she brought her trophies from when these horses competed and won stakes races oh, or different kind of races where there were trophies and gave the trophies to the new owners. <laughs> said that oh, no, trophy cool. should go with the owners. How, How cool, cool is that? Well, that's Pat. That's, that's what she does. Absolutely. She's very cool. Great competition. Pat said she'll return for sure. Dick, one of the great international races, the Arc, the Arc de Triomphe in France. How about a filly winning two years in a row? Yeah, and Abel from the great John Gosden barn. She'd only had one race this year because she had a knee problem, not the way they wanted to come in, but an amazing finish where she's holding up another great three-year-old filly, Sea of Class. The good news is an Abel gave Frankie right. Dettori, by the way, his sixth Arc win. They haven't decided yet, but she may come to the Breeders' Cup turf. If she does, it's a free space. She can't lose. Wow. She's that good because she wasn't even close to ready, and she won anyway. Dick down under. Winx had won 27 in a row. I was watching this race from the beginning. Yeah. She was absolutely buried. Dick. She's buried. She can't win. Dick. Dick, look at this. Yeah, going a mile and a quarter, and it looks like she's just not going to get out and get any space to run. But when this, oh, man. When this mare gets space, she's now seven. She just starts flying, Keith, and that's 28 in a row for the great Winks, who will go for her fourth straight Cox Plate at the end of the month. And, Dick, you want some cool video? Let's go to <laughs> Laurel here. Is our buddy Trevor McCarthy. This yes. was a turf race. Yes. When you get in trouble, mm -hmm. why don't you just kind of jump onto the back of the other horse? Yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen this before. We're starting to see a lot of things lately yeah. we haven't seen before. But Biting yeah, Trevor was... just jumped on the other horse for a little bit and then <laughs> fell off. and. Thankfully, he was a little bit hurt. Right. It wasn't a disaster that it could have been. But yeah, that's not something you see every day at the race. <laughs> Talk right. about carrying extra weight. How about that, uh, Trevor McCarthy? Good that he is okay. 